Hello everyone. Good morning, all of you. Good morning, Hari. Yeah, very good morning, everyone. Yeah, very good morning, sir. Yeah, yeah. Are you able to see my screen clearly? Yes, sir. Can you hear me clearly, everyone? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you yes, able sir. to see my screen clearly, everyone? Yes. Okay. Okay. Alright. Everyone received my demo recording video class. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is there any is there any new joiners in our today's class who did not yeah. attend my demo class? Yeah. This is Sita. I'm here today. I'm here. Yeah, myself absolutely. I haven't joined demo class. Myself, Amu Kumar. I'm here today. I'm here. Okay. Alright. So, new people who did not attend my demo class, you people, you just do one thing. Once after completing our today's class, please contact the site me admin team people. They will share with you my demo recording video class. You just go through that demo recording video class. Once after watching that recording video class, in case if you are having any doubts, you just come up with your doubts by tomorrow's class so that I can clarify all your doubts. Is it clear for new people? Okay, sir. Okay. 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 Shall we start the class? Shall we start the class? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. Okay. I am going to mute all of you for avoiding background disturbances. Sure. Let's continue. Okay. All right. Okay, let's continue our class. So this course is a DevOps course. This course is DevOps course. DevOps means a group of softwares. Where we will install these many group of softwares, we will install on Linux operating systems, L-I-N-U-X, Linux operating systems. That means we need so many Linux computers. Where we will take these many Linux computers, we will take from AWS Cloud. So this is our course hierarchy. First, we will discuss about AWS Cloud. After that, immediately we'll jump out to Linux, then immediately we'll jump out to DevOps. Because underlying platform is AWS Cloud. I mean, this is AWS Cloud. By using this AWS Cloud, I will create computers. For example, this is one computer, this is one more computer, this is one more computer, this is one more computer. In this computer, I will install one DevOps software. Here, I will install one more DevOps software. Here, one more DevOps tool. Here, one more DevOps software, like that. So, first we will discuss about AWS Cloud, then immediately we'll jump on to Linux operating systems, Linux computers. After that, we will discuss about these DevOps softwares. So this is our course hierarchy. Let me clear the screen. So according to our course structure, first we will discuss about JWS Cloud. Before understanding about JWS Cloud, first we will discuss about Cloud. Once after explaining about Cloud, then I will talk about JWS. First here, we will discuss about Cloud. First of all, what do you mean by Cloud? For understanding this Cloud concept, for understanding this Cloud technology, let me tell you one simple example so that you can understand it clearly. I want to establish one software company. Let's imagine that I just want to establish one IT company. If you want to establish one software company, if you want to start one software company, generally what are the requirements we have to take care? What are the things you have to take care? First, we have to buy servers, correct? Anna? Buy servers. 
server means high configuration computer what do you mean by server server means high configuration computer for example this is my laptop my laptop it is having 12 gb of ram my laptop it is having 1 tb 1 t of 1 tb of hard disk capacity server means high configuration computer high configuration computer means obviously you can see something like this server it is having server it is having 100 gb of ram server it is having 100 tb of hard disk capacity see okay, guys server means high configuration computer only here we call it as server my computer my laptop cost is 50000 rupees server means high configuration computer obviously cost also will be more let's imagine server cost will be 1 lakh rupees 1 lakh rupees if you enter instead of any software company there you can see hundreds and thousands of servers but in our example just i will take only 100 servers i would like to buy 100 servers 100 into 1 lakh 100 into 1 lakh how much guys almost here 1 crore year on 1 crore 1 cm first of all we don't have this much of money let's imagine that somehow we have managed 1 crore rupees and we have purchased almost 100 servers i mean in this first in this first step you have to spend a lot of money let's imagine once after buying all these 100 servers what is the next step next even you have to install operating system into all those 100 servers when it comes to operating system here two operating systems are available one is windows another one is linux for example if you choose windows actually windows operating system is not free you have to pay money to microsoft company you have to take license from microsoft company because windows is not free see guys here i am not talking about pirated operating systems where we get for 200 300 like that no no because in companies generally we use genuine operating system only if you want to use windows operating system you have to pay so much of money to microsoft company then only it is possible otherwise it is not possible for example if you choose linux operating system that is completely free you no need to pay money to any company let's imagine here you have chosen windows operating system that means in the second step also you have to pay lot of money once after installing operating system even you have to install so many softwares some of the softwares are free some of the softwares are not free which are not free again you have to pay money to all those softwares for, for buying all those softwares in this third step also you are spending lot of money next when it comes to fourth step network network related components we have to buy i mean so many switches so many modems so many hubs so that you can connect from one computer to another computer network arrangement in this step also you have to spend lot of money once after completing network next infrastructure 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 means in very very big cities if you want to establish if you want to start one software company you have to take very very big buildings instead of each and every building so many rooms you need you want instead of each and every room power supply water supply and cc cameras each and everything you have to arrange correct or not that too first of all if you are very very rich person then you can purchase that complete building then you can buy otherwise at least you have to take a rental basis i mean lease basis that the entire building and that too you have to provide all facilities for each and every software employee all software engineers you have to provide so many facilities in this step also you are paying so much of money 
once after completing infrastructure setup, then here you have to take care about monitor. Monitor means first of all physical monitor as well as logical monitor. Physical monitor means you have to recruit so many security guards. Those security guards they will monitor your software company physically security people. Those people you have to pay salaries. Not only physical monitoring, instead of each and every computer, you have to install monitoring softwares. For buying those monitoring softwares also, you have to pay a lot of money. And even you have to recruit so many administrators. Admins. Admins means already you know here, system administrators, database administrators, as well as network administrators. And on average, if you pay each and every administrator for 40,000 rupees, you have to pay salaries to so many system administrators, so many database administrators, so many network administrators. All these administrators, they will take care about all your computers, all your infrastructure, all your company setup. In this seventh step also, you have to pay a lot of money. Let's imagine you are a rich person. You are having so much of money. You have arranged all these things. Let's imagine like that. Even though if you manage all these things, but finally, what about the time? Time also important. Correct or not? Time. For get ready with one computer, it will take almost 10 days of time. Almost 10 days of time. I mean, buying one computer, installing operating system, installing so many softwares, Attaching to network related components, hmm? taking the biggest infrastructure and installing monitoring softwares, even recruiting system administrators. For completing all these activities, minimum at least 10 days of time it will take. If you want to get ready with your computer, if you want to start working with your computer, at least it will take 10 days of time. If you go, this is physical infrastructure. If you go with this physical setup, physical means you have to arrange all these things by your work. You have to spend a lot of money, physical setup. But here, my requirement is I want a thousand computers. I want a thousand computers. All these thousand computers, each and every computer, I want 100 GB of RAM. Each and every computer, 100 PB of hard disk capacity. And each and every computer, I want 100 CPU cores. CPU core. What is the meaning of CPU core? CPU core means already we have in our computers. Quad core, octa core, dual core. For example, core i5, core i3, i7, i9. 7th generation, 8th generation. I mean, here I am talking about computer processor. Processor. I want this complete setup. Each and every computer I want 100 GB of RAM, 100 TB of hard disk, 100 CPU cores. That too, this complete setup I want within one minute. Within one minute. Right now, time is exactly 7.54 a.m. I want this complete setup, complete setup 7.55 55 a.m. If I go with this physical setup, is it possible? If I go with this physical setup, is it possible? Please use chat box for sending messages. Is it possible, guys? If I go with this physical setup. No, no, this is not at all possible. This is not at all possible. If you go with this cloud concept, if you go with this cloud technology, 100% it is possible. 100% it is possible. Within one minute, you can get these many computers. 1000 computers, you can get it. That too, this much of required configuration. If you go with this cloud technology, this is 100% possible. Now, let's discuss about cloud. What is the meaning of cloud? Let me clear the screen here. Yeah.
All right. For understanding this cloud technology, I think everyone knows about Google Drive. Google Drive. Google Drive means Google company is providing one storage. Storage means it is like a hard disk. It is hard disk. Google company is providing one storage. That storage only here we call it as Google Drive. This Google storage is not available with me. Google company is maintaining one hard disk. Where it is maintaining? Maybe America, maybe London, maybe Germany, maybe Switzerland. Somewhere, somewhere in the world, some other country. Google storage, it is not possible to see. It is not possible to touch. It is not possible to feel. But if you want to store some data, it is possible to store some data. How you are accessing this Google Drive? By using internet. By using internet. Anytime you can access from anywhere you can access. Google company is providing up to 15 GB. It is free. If you want more storage capacity, you have to pay some amount of money to Google company. Then you will be getting more storage capacity. For example, guys, physical hard disk, physical hard disk. What is the meaning of physical hard disk? Physical hard disk means that is available with you. You can touch your hard disk. You can feel your hard disk. You can, you can see your hard disk. But here, cloud storage means it is not possible to see. It is not possible to touch. It is not possible to feel. It is only possible if you are having some data, it is possible to store that data. How you are accessing? Just by using internet. It is exactly same like this. By using internet, you can access Gmail. Do you think Gmail application is running inside of my house? No. I want to access Facebook application, Facebook website. Do you think Facebook application is running inside of my house? No. By using internet, you can access Gmail. You can access Facebook exactly the same way. You can access this Google Drive. That is the meaning of cloud. Cloud means Cloud means that is not available with me. That is available somewhere in the world. Someone is maintaining. By using internet, we can access. By using internet, just we can access. That is the meaning of cloud. Physical means that is available with you. For example, right now, you people are sitting in front of your computer. That is physical computer. I mean, you can touch your computer. You can see your computer. You can feel your computer. That is the meaning of physical. Cloud means that is not available with us. Here, Google company is providing only storage. When it comes to AWS company, here it is providing storage, it is providing RAM, it is providing CPU, it is providing so many computers, it is providing and so many softwares, so many applications. Each and everything, all IT resources, AWS company people, they are providing. How you are accessing all these IT resources? by using internet by using internet just we are accessing all these id resources all right let me clear this for example do you know how to access google drive let me show you you just open any browser for example i am just opening incognito window I mean new browser. You just open any browser. Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer. Here, you just type Google. Here, you just type Google Drive, D-R-I-V, Drive. Just press enter. Here, you can see Google Drive. Here, you can see accounts, accounts.google.com. You just select. Once if I select, I want to access Google Drive. Here you can see to continue to Google Drive. But it is asking, hey, Hari, can you please provide your Gmail? Then only it is possible to access Google Drive. Otherwise, it is not possible. It is asking my Gmail. If you want to, if you want to access Google Drive, first what you have to do, you have to create one account with Google company. That account is Gmail. Once if I provide Gmail, then only it is possible to access Google Drive. Otherwise, it is not possible. Correct. 
exactly the same way exactly the same way if you want to access aws first of all you people tell me how to access gmail if i type here gmail i can access gmail correct or not how to access facebook do you know here you just type facebook once if i press enter immediately we can access facebook website exactly the same way do you know how to access netflix here you just type netflix so that we can watch movies exactly the same way if you want to access aws you have to type here aws space console aws space console just to press enter once after press enter button here you can see aws dot amazon dot this aws is belongs to amazon company account slash sign up here we have to create one account it is like a creating google account i mean gmail account otherwise creating facebook account just to select this option this link you just select once if i select it will open like this here you can see aws free trade did you observe amazon shopping website also you can see same symbol aws also belongs to amazon company that is the reason here also you can see same symbol two options you can see one is create a free account here you can see one more option that is create an aws account both options are exactly same either you can select this option otherwise even you can select this option both are exactly same once if i select any of these options it will be redirecting into another page you can see this page in this page we have to create a account i mean all the details we have to provide basic details for creating account with this aws you have to provide your gmail already you know how to create your gmail you just provide password whatever the password you can remember you just provide that password after that confirmation password next here aws account name for example my name is hari i will give my name like this exactly the same way what is your name you just provide your name here once after completing all these steps just click on continue once after select this continue button it will be redirecting into second page third page like that in that second page third page they will ask you your personal details i mean what is your full name what is your surname i mean family name what is your first name what is your last name next it will ask you your phone number next are you belongs to which country so you just select country name next what is your city name which state you are belongs to after that even they will ask you please provide postal code postal code means pin code address your area pin code address once after providing all these details even they will ask you do you have pan card do you have pan card in case if you are having pan card you just say yes for example if you don't have pan card you just say no either you can select yes otherwise even you can select no there is no problem once after providing these details even they will ask you do you want to create free account do you want to create free account or business account here you just select i would like to create a free account free account otherwise even sometimes you can see one more option do you want to create student account do you want to create a student account or personal account personal account or here you can see business account if you see free you just select free if you see student you just select student for example if you see personal you just select personal these are the basic details they will ask you you just provide all these details once after providing all these details so finally in the last page they will ask you hey can you please provide your debit card details otherwise credit card details first of all why aws company people asking 
your debit card details otherwise your credit card details because whether we are using valid debit card or not valid credit card or not they just want to verify they just want to verify that is the only reason they are asking either you can provide your debit card details otherwise your credit card details only they will charge 2 rupees believe me guys only they will charge 2 rupees i have created so many aws accounts only they will charge 2 rupees that too for verification purpose after 24 hours again they will give you these 2 rupees back to your credit card otherwise your debit card only for verification purpose they will charge only 2 rupees nothing more than that once after debiting these 2 rupees from your either debit card or credit card immediately your aws account will be activated immediately your aws account will be activated after that very well you can use your aws account creating aws account is exactly like a creating facebook account otherwise creating netflix account otherwise creating gmail account here you just provide debit card details or credit card details only they will charge 2 rupees immediately you can work with this aws account everyone please be ready with your aws accounts before attending my tomorrow's class everyone please create your aws accounts because from tomorrow onwards each and every class is a practical class that is the reason once after creating your aws accounts how can you access you can access your aws account like this you just open google here you just type google how to access facebook facebook.com exactly the same way how to access aws here you just type aws console aws space console just press enter once after entering enter button you can see this link you just select this link once after selecting this link you can see here sign into the console now just click on here sign into the console once after selecting that option here you can see these are the options what is the difference between root user and iim user in our coming classes i will tell you clearly as of now by default this root user is the option will be selected by default this option will be selected here you can see you just provide your gmail whatever the gmail you have given at the time of creating your aws account you just provide that gmail once after providing that gmail here you can see below just click on next and if you want to create aws account by se by selecting this option also you can create aws account once after providing gmail just click on next now here you can see these are the characters you have to provide for example if you are unable to understand just click on refresh till you understand you can select this option you just provide these characters 8 or what is that one next one 3 i think next one is q t d once after providing these characters just click on submit this is incorrect now again just yes 6 f 7 4 p is it correct okay it is correct once after providing here we have to provide password which password what are the password you have given at the time of creating your aws account you have to enter that password my password already saved in this browser that is the reason here you can see this is my password my password already saved in this google chrome browser so you just provide your password once after providing your password just click on sign in and here also you can see create a new aws account if you want to create even here also by selecting this option very well you can create just click on sign in like this you can enter instead of your aws account 
Here you can see AWS management console. AWS belongs to Amazon company. That is the reason here you can see Amazon company symbol. AWS means Amazon web services. Amazon web services. A means company name, Amazon. W means web. What is the meaning of web? Web means internet. Internet only here we call it as web. Web means internet. Next services. I mean so many services are available. What are the services are available? I will show you. Management means you can manage. You can you can manage. I mean you can create, you can delete like that. Management. For example, business management. It is like that. You can manage. Console means either you can call it as console. Otherwise, you can call it as page. Otherwise, even you can call it as dashboard. D-A-S-H B-O-A-R-T. Dashboard. What is the meaning of console? This one. In this complete page, whatever you can see, this complete page only here we call it as console. Either you can call it as console. Otherwise, you can call it as page. Even you can call it as dashboard. These are the different, different English words. Different, different people, they use different, different English words. Management means by using so many options, you can manage. You can create, you can modify, you can delete like that. Here you can see my name. Because I have created this AWS account. That is the reason here you can see my name. In your AWS account, you can see your name. In your AWS account, you can see your name. And here you can see Mumbai. Let me open. Once if I select, you can see so many countries. For example, here, first one is US East. US means America. America East, North Virginia. America East, Ohio. America West, California. America West, Oregon. Here you can see Africa, Cape Town. Next to Hong Kong, Jakarta. Here you can see Mumbai. Why they have given Mumbai name? Instead of giving India name, why they have given Mumbai name? What is the economical capital for our India? Do you know? Mumbai. That is the reason they have given Mumbai is the name. Mumbai means India. Instead of giving India name, simply they have given Mumbai. Next, here you can see Osaka, Seoul, Singapore. Singapore is very, very small country. That is the reason straight away they have given country name. Next, Sydney you can see. Instead of giving Australia, simply they have given Sydney because Sydney is one of the beautiful place in Australia. Here you can see Tokyo they have given. What is the capital of Japan? Tokyo. Instead of giving Japan, simply they have given Tokyo. I mean, you can see all countries here. Canada, Frankfurt. Frankfurt means Germany. Ireland, London, Milan, Paris, Stockholm, Bahrain, South America, like that, so many countries you can see. Why you can see these many countries, first of all? In each and every country, AWS company people, what they have done, they kept this complete physical infrastructure in each and every country. Why they kept this complete physical infrastructure in each and every country? Let's imagine if they keep this complete physical infrastructure in only our India. In the future, maybe because of some kind of natural disasters. If something happens to our India, I mean, because of some kind of earthquakes, otherwise the tsunamis. If something happens to our India, whatever the computers are available in India, whatever the data we have stored, all those computers, that complete data, everything we will lose. Correct, Anna? Because of some kind of natural disasters. That is the reason they kept this complete physical infrastructure in each and every country. Even though if you lose half of the world because of some natural disasters like a tsunami and earthquake, still you can get back all your computers. I mean, all your computers are very, very safe. Complete data is always very, very safe. Even though if you lose half of the world, 
even though if you lose half of the world, still all your computers and the complete your data is very, very safe and very, very safe. For getting backup mechanism, they kept that complete physical infrastructure in each and every country. So that is the only reason here you can see so many countries. And here you can see, I said AWS means Amazon, W means web, internet, S means services. So many services you can see. You just observe this option. Once if I select, you can see so many services. Once if I select analytics, application integration, so many services you can see. Correct or not? All the services are not important. Out of these many services, only a few services are very, very important. For example, do you know Google company, how many products it is providing? Do you have any idea? Do you know about Google company first of all? Google company, how many services it is providing? Once if I select, here you can see Google account, Google search, Google maps, YouTube. What are the famous services every day we use? YouTube, Gmail, Google meetings, Google play, Google search, Google maps. Next Google drive, Google contacts, Google calendar, Google pictures, Google photos. But remaining services are not at all important. Correct and remaining services we never use. Not only these services, once if I select more from Google, even you can see hundreds and thousands of services, but all those services are not at all important. Only a few services are very, very important. We use only those few services. Exactly the same way. Here also you can see so many services, hundreds and thousands of services. But all the services are not at all important. Only very, very few services are important. All these things here you can call it as module. Here you can see compute is one module. Containers is another module. Database is one more module. Instead of each and every module, you can see so many services. For example, if I select a compute, instead of this compute module, these are the services you can see. Out of these many services, very, very important services, EC2, EC2. Now just to select EC2. Now we will discuss about this EC2. First of all, why they have given that name EC2? What is the meaning? By using that service, what you can do? Those details we will discuss. Let me clear the screen. Here, first service name is EC2. EC2. What is the full form? Full form is here. Elastic. Elastic, Elastic Compute Cloud, Cloud. This is one E and first C, second C. One E, one C, second C. That is the only reason they have given name as G C two because two C C you can see here and here. Why they have given Cloud? Because this is one of the cloud service. That is the reason they have given cloud is the word. Next here you can see compute. Compute means computers. By using this EC2 service, you can create any number of computers. Maybe 100, maybe 1000, maybe 10,000. You can create any number of computers according to your requirement. That too within one minute. Next here you can see elastic. What is the meaning of elastic? I mean elastic nature. Do you know about rubber band? You can expand rubber band. You can stretch back rubber band. It is like that. Whatever the computers you are going to create with the help of this EC2 service, all these computers also, it is having elastic nature. For example, like this. This is like a scenario A. This is my laptop. This is my laptop. 
in this my laptop it is having 12 gb of ram as well as 1 tb of hard disk it is having without opening without opening this computer is it possible to increase ram is it possible to increase hard disk capacity otherwise is it possible to reduce ram is it possible to reduce hard disk capacity without opening this computer no correct and i mean here we don't have elastic nature it is not possible one more scenario i will tell you this is like a scenario b this is also my laptop let's imagine here just i am taking only hard disk capacity as of now 1 tb hard disk is available without opening this computer is it possible to increase increase hard disk capacity for example if you want more storage capacity what you can do without opening this computer very well you can attach 4 gb of pen drive if you want some more storage capacity you can attach 128 gb of pen drive if you want to store some more storage capacity 256 gb pen drive you can attach pen drive correct or that means for attaching this pen drive you no need to open your computer for example if you don't want extra these storages what you can do you can detach you can detach that means here we are having elastic nature according to your requirement if you want more storage capacity you can attach pen drive if you don't want you just detach that pen drive here we have elastic nature exactly the same way whatever the computers you are going to create with the help of this ec2 service for all those computers elastic nature is available i mean aws company people they are providing like this operating system they are providing separately cpu they are providing separately ram they are providing separately and hard disk capacity they are providing separately whatever the operating system you want you just select whatever the cpu whatever the hard disk whatever the ram you want you just select once after selecting all these details in one place you just give number i mean if i give one number one computer will be created if i give 100 number 100 computers will be created if i give 500 number 500 computers will be created it is like that all these 500 all these 500 computers it will create whatever the details you have selected it is like that i hope it is clear next now i will discuss about aws terminology this aws terminology is very very important aws terminology normally we call it as operating system general hey i want windows operating system i want linux operating system generally we speak this kind of english language but when it comes to aws you have to use here a m i ami a m i what is the full form amazon mission amazon mission image amazon mission image amazon mission image i mean this is the word you have to use i want windows ami i want linux ami i want to attend windows ami this is the language you have to use amazon mission image normally we call it as cpu and ram cpu and ram but when it comes to aws we have to use different word i will tell you what is the different word for example if i select one cpu core AWS company people they are providing one GB of RAM. If I select two CPU cores, they are providing four GB of RAM. If I select four CPU cores, AWS company people they are providing eight GB of RAM. Like that, maximum they are providing almost four hundred and fifty CPU cores. Maximum how much RAM they are providing? Almost twelve thousand GB of RAM they are providing. in your lifetime did you hear any did you hear like this 12000 gb of ram otherwise 450 cpu cores frankly speaking before this cloud technology i did not hear i never 
I never literally. In this cloud technology only, I am here, and we have seen. Even I will show you. They have given names. For example, if I select here, you will get like this: one CPU and one GB after. If I select B, I will get two CPU cores and four GB after for our computer. If I select C, we will get four CPU cores and eight GB after. For example, if you select D, you will get 450 CPU cores as well as 12,000 GB of RAM for your computer. These details here we call it as instance types. I N S T A N C instance types. T Y P E S instance types. I mean, normally we call it as CPU and RAM. Hey, I want this much of CPU. I want this much of RAM. But when it comes to AWS, you have to call it as I want instance types. Instance types means combination of CPU and RAM. Next, normally we call it as hard disk. For example, hey, I want 200 GB hard disk. I want 500 GB hard disk. I want 1 TB hard disk. Generally, we speak like this. But when it comes to this AWS, here you have to call it as here you have to use GBS. EBS. EBS means what is the full form? Why they are given? EBS is the name. Full form is elastic. Elastic block. Elastic block storage. Why they have given storage is a word? Because by using this EBS, you can store some data. I mean, it is hard disk only. You can store some data. That is the reason they have given storage is the word. Next, why they have given elastic? Here also elastic nature is available. I mean, for example, this is your computer. As of now, let's imagine 2 GB RAM is available, 200 GB hard disk capacity is available. Here we are talking about hard disk. Elastic nature means if you want more storage capacity, even 500 GB hard disk capacity, you can get it. Otherwise, 1 TB, otherwise 2 TB, otherwise even 5 TB, 10 TB, how much you want, you can get it. For example, you don't want more storage capacity. You want very, very less storage capacity. That means very well you can reduce. For example, 100 GB only I want. Otherwise, maybe 50 GB hard disk capacity. Either you can increase, otherwise you can reduce. That means here we have elastic nature is available. According to your requirement, you can get it more. Otherwise, you can reduce. Why they have given block? What is the meaning of this block? First of all, here we have two storage types are available. Let me write it here. Two storage types. Two types of storages are available. What are those? First one is block storage. BLOCK block storage and the second one is object storage. Object. Object storage means it is exactly like a Google Drive pen drive. I think you already know about Google Drive. Correct or not? Google Drive. Google Drive or pen drive. Pen drive also you people already aware. Object storage means it is exactly like a Google Drive or pen drive. In this object storage, it is not possible to install operating systems. It is not possible to install databases. But very well, it is possible to store movies, audio files, video files, your family pictures, otherwise PDF documents, more documents. All those documents, very well, you can store. Okay. But here, it is not possible to install operating systems. It is not possible to install databases. When it comes to block storage, this block storage is exactly like a, our Windows computer C drive. This is like a C drive. Do you know about Windows computer? For example, this is my Windows computer. Let me show you. This is a C drive. This is a C drive. Instead of this C drive, already I have installed operating system. Windows operating system I have installed. After installing also, still you can see some more space. In this space, 
what we can do you can create one folder you can create any number of folders after that you can store movies audio files video files family pictures pdf documents word documents everything you can store correct or not exactly the same way this block storage is like a our windows computer c drive let's imagine c drive capacity is 50 gb let's imagine out of this 50 gb for installing operating system maybe 20 gb occupied for os remaining in this 30 gb everything you can store movies audio files video files everything you can store correct or not? that means in this block storage you can install operating systems you can install databases even you can store anything there is no problem block storage is like a our windows computer c drive object storage is like a either google drive otherwise a pen drive here ebs means by default it is a block storage that means everything you can store we don't have any problem once after selecting all these details let me let me do this once after selecting all these details i mean selecting ami after that selecting instance types next selecting ebs so once after selecting these three details normally we call it as computer correct or not hey i want one computer i want 10 computers like that generally we speak but when it comes to aws technology here we call it as instance i n s t a n c instance instance means computer computer is a singular word computers plural exactly the same way instance means singular i mean one computer instances multiple computers this is the technology we have to use ami means os instance types means cpu and ram this is instance types but this is only instance cpu and ram ebs means hard disk capacity instance means computer this is the technology we have to use when it comes to this aws i hope it is clear let me open these slides Here you can see what is cloud computing. What is the meaning of cloud? Cloud means that is not available with me. That is available with somewhere in the world. Somebody is maintaining. Just by using internet, we are accessing. It is like a Google Drive. Otherwise, it is like a Facebook, Gmail. You just take any application. Applications are not available in your house. But by using your internet, by using internet, just you are accessing that application. Either Facebook, otherwise Gmail. It could be any website. Here you can see cloud computing is on demand delivery of IT resources. On demand. What is the meaning of on demand? On demand means you demand they will deliver. For example, I think everyone know everyone knows about Vola card, otherwise Uber. Correct? And suppose if you book Uber card immediately two to three minutes, otherwise five minutes, it will be available. I mean. You are demanding for Uber car, they are providing for the ride. Exactly the same way here also. On demand means you are, you demand they will deliver. What you are demanding, here we are software engineers. That is the reason we always talk about computers. I mean all IT resources. I mean here, computers, storage, RAM, applications, softwares, like that. N number of things related to computers. Through a cloud services platform called AWS. AWS. Here we are using AWS via internet. How we are, how we are accessing all these services by using internet with pay as you go price. One more time, you just read. Cloud computing is the on demand. You demand, they will deliver. If you demand for 100 computers, they will deliver. They will deliver means you can access all those 100 computers with the help of internet that is the meaning of delivery it resources computers storage applications through cloud services platform called aws via internet pay as you go pricing model what is the meaning of pay as you go do you know whatever you use you only pay for that one 
for example if i use 100 computers 100 pcs that to only 3 hours you only pay for the bill 100 computers that to only 3 hours it is like a power bill water bill internet bill in our house for example we are using water in our house whatever the water you are using you have to pay water bill you are using internet in your house whatever the internet you are using at the month end you have to pay internet bill otherwise power bill whatever the power you are utilizing at the month end you have to pay that much of bill to indian government like that whatever you use you only pay for that exactly same like this here also but in our class everything we are using free free time free time that is the reason you no need to pay money to aws company people all services we will use free free time next accessing it resources provided by cloud provider which provider we are talking about aws amazon web services through web web means internet by using internet just you are accessing aws website that is the meaning of this one aws company people they are providing all it resources whenever you hear cloud computing is the word you have to remember three important keywords those are first one is on demand second one is scalable third one is pay what you use on demand means you demand they deliver for example if you demand for 1000 computers they will provide like that scale scalable means here we have two words scale up as well as scale down what is the meaning of scale up let's imagine this is one computer in this computer as of now it is having 12 gb of ram 500 gb hard disk capacity scale up means i don't want to 12 gb i want to 32 gb ram otherwise i want to 64 gb ram i want high configuration Otherwise, I don't want 500 GB hard disk. I want maybe 1 TB hard disk. Otherwise, maybe I want 5 TB hard disk. Scale up means you can increase your computer capacity. They are providing. For example, if you don't want high configuration details, in that scenario, you can reduce your computer capacity. I want only 4 GB RAM. Otherwise, I want only 100 GB of hard disk capacity. Like that, you can reduce. Scale down means reducing your computer capacity. Scale up means increasing your computer capacity. Next, pay what you use. Whatever you use, you only pay for that. For example, if you use only two computers, PC means computer only. Two PCs, that to only one hour. One hour for one computer, another hour for another computer. Two hours, one hour. You only pay for two computers, that to only one hour. It is like this. Next, here why we are discussing about only AWS cloud? Because when it comes to 100 billion cloud market, AWS is having more capacity. Out of 100%, AWS cloud occupied almost 33%. 18% occupied by Microsoft Azure. Remaining 9% occupied by Google Cloud. Remaining cloud providers are very, very less negligible. This is the only region here we are discussing about AWS cloud. This is the top cloud provider in the market. Next, here you can see what is the service name EC2. EC2. What is the full form? Elastic Compute Cloud. By using this EC2, you can create any number of computers that to within one minute. You can create Windows computers as well as you can create Linux computers also. Everything is possible. Next. See, these are clouds. On the clouds, you can see servers. Server means high configuration computer. Diagram you can see like this. EC2. EC2 means Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud. EC2 is a web web means internet by using internet you can access this service web service that provides resizable resizable means according to your requirement you can increase otherwise you can reduce that is the meaning of resizable 
compute capacity in the cloud. I mean, with the help of internet, you can access. That is the meaning of cloud. Next, EC2 reduces time to launch. It will reduce. For example, if you go to physical infrastructure, to get ready with one computer, minimum it will take 10 days of time. But here, EC2 reduces time to launch. Launch means create. New instances means computers. That two minutes. Within one minute, you can create any number of computers, allowing you to quickly scale capacity. That is both scale up as well as scale down. You can increase, otherwise you can reduce according to your requirement. I hope it is clear. See guys, today we have seen how to create, what is the meaning of cloud? What is the difference between cloud versus physical infrastructure? And how to create AWS account? And first service, that is EC2. What is the meaning of this EC2? We have seen. In our tomorrow's class, with the help of this EC2 service, how to create one Windows computer, how to create two Linux computers, I will show you. Not only creating, after creating, how to enter instead of those computers, I will show you clearly. From tomorrow onwards, everything is a practical class. That is the reason, before attending my tomorrow's class, please create your AWS accounts. Creating AWS account is very, very simple. It is like a creating Facebook account. It is like a creating Gmail account. Just you provide either debit card details, otherwise credit card details. Only they will charge two rupees. That too, after 24 hours, again, they will give you those two rupees to your account, either your debit card or your credit card. So that immediately you can enter instead of your AWS account. I hope it is clear. See guys, each and every class is very, very important till you get the job, till you change your job. All right. So this is all about our today's class. In case if you don't have any doubts, you can skip this meeting and you can join my tomorrow's class. In case if you are having any doubts, stay here only. I will give permission. You can ask all your doubts. I am here to clarify. All right. Yes. Yes, Anshu. Anshu Maria. Yes, you can skip. So we will provide recording video. You just provide your Gmail to side admin team people. We will share with you. Every day, every day class, you receive recording video. Okay. Not only today. Every day, you receive recording video. All right. Yes, guys. I have given permission. Now you can talk to me. First of all, whatever I have explained, did you understand clearly? Please respond to someone. Yes, Harish. Yes, sir. Okay. You can understand clearly. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. Each and every class will be same manner. Each and every class will be same like this. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. You can ask if you are having any doubts. Please don't feel shy. Sir, option or doubt? Yes, Chappandi. ఉంటుంది <laughs> Uh, I think I have explained about AM. two services. No, no, two services explain each other. Google services only, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I am talking about to these services. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, console, console, sir. First, you console, sir. Mm -hmm. AWS console. Uh, AWS console. Yes, sir. AWS console. Yes, sir. AWS console. Yes, sir. AWS console. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes.
yes remaining people uh, one person is asking sir is it possible to get a recorded session available for today's class yes definitely every day you receive recording video class to your gmail i mean your google drive remaining people do you have any doubts sir i have sir. doubt yes yes please sir i have not uh, as a technical background so sir company will accept me as employee yes company definitely 100% will accept because so many non it candidates they are coming into it field that is the reason did you understand yes sir okay did you understand my today's class yes sir okay all right remaining people sir your course duration is 2 months yes see first of all assis this is not a uh, government job coaching it is not like uh, ias it is not like ips this is first of all very very smallest course only two to only around 2 months for explaining all these devops tools it will take only 2 months first of all this course is very very simple even 10th class student intermediate student also can understand clearly that too i will make it very very simple okay sir all right yes remaining people any doubts sir sir yes yes rajiv debit card edaina parladha rural bank ane other bank yeah it could be anything edaina parladha okay rural bank is rural okay it could be anything sir yes. i have doubt sir yes please gcs lo azure lo anitlo instance same ga untaya exactly exactly everything is same uh, environment kuda same untada yes environment everything is exactly same okay and one more person is asking one doubt deepak i have 10 plus years of experience in networking so will it useful for me yes deepak very well definitely it will useful for you what we will do here is so recent 3 years otherwise recent 4 years we will prepare your cv as a devops engineer experience at the time of attending your interviews you just explain like this what is after completing my education i have started my career as a network engineer after working 6 to 7 years later i have switched to it field right now i am working as a devops engineer so on so company Then hundred percent each and every software company people they will accept because many people they switch from one technology to another technology like this one. Did you understand Deepak? Please respond. Deepak, are you there? Okay. Okay. All right. Sir, I have one doubt. Yes. Yes. Please, you can ask me. Sir, in an interview, uh, what type of interview will be? there is there a programming interview also there no no it is not program first of all here you no need to write any kind of programs it is just theoretical interview whatever i am going to explain to you you just listen and you just try to understand you just explain that's it okay sir. rahul is asking one doubt yesterday class uh, yesterday class not received okay recording video so rahul you just do one thing once after completing our today's class i mean almost we have completed you just contact side and admin team people you just provide your valid gmail id to them they will provide demo recording video class next without coding knowledge is it possible to learn devops yes 100% it is possible to learn because programming skills are not at all important as a devops engineer here you no need to learn programming languages like java dot net nothing here only we use scripting language scripting language is exactly like a similar to english language once if you know english language very well you can understand scripting language even 10th class student also can understand this scripting language is it clear next hello sir Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, scripting language is necessary for DevOps, sir. Yes, scripting language is important. Correct. Here I will tell you YAML scripting language, HCL scripting language, even that too. 
so many linux commands a group of linux commands only we call it as shell scripting shell scripting linux based yeah yes first very very important scripting is yaml that is really very very simple and the ops is so many see guys uh... see don't take any tension scripting language is very very simple blindly you just believe that's it you can understand english language you can speak english language that means you already know scripting language that's it Uday Kiran is asking one doubt. Hi sir, I am non IT candidate. I have passed two thousand fourteen. Can I survive it? Yes, definitely Uday Kiran, you can survive. In your example also, what we will do is reset to three years. We will consider reset to three years. We will prepare your CV as a DevOps engineer CV. So you just explain like this. Once after completing my education, two thousand fourteen. After that, I have prepared for government jobs. So. <clears throat> I did not get any government job. That is the reason I have moved to software industry. Right now, I am working as a software engineer. I mean, DevOps engineer in so and so company. Like that, you can explain. Hundred percent, they will accept. Is it clear, Uday Kiran? Okay, all right. Uh, sir, I have one doubt. Uh... Yes, yes, please. Yeah. Uh, how will you take the labs? That means uh, will you take uh, the labs in depth? Ah uh, uh, yes, each and every concept I will explain very very in depth. Okay. Once after listening my classes, not only two years, not only three years, four years, five years, six years also, you can show it. You can showcase experience. That much of in depth knowledge I will provide. Uh, Deepak is asking one now. Sir, dear sir, programming and Linux. Yeah, scripting language and Linux commands are very very important. I will tell you that complete Linux part everything I will tell you. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, how many years of experience I have to put? I will tell you Uday Kiran. As of now, don't worry. In our coming classes, I will tell you. See, in this first class, explaining each and everything is is not possible. Our course duration is not one day. Our course duration will be a uh, around two months. Every day you can ask all your doubts. In software field, for employees, provided the login system. Yes, who is this person? Viswa. Viswa, are you there? Yes. Here we will use AWS. In our coming classes, I will tell you Viswa. As of now, don't worry about that. See, yes, Shravan. Shravan is asking one doubt, but having like a fake experience, enter into IT field. There is no problem. There is no problem because everyone we do like that only. Shravan, did you understand? Shravan Kumar, are you there? Please respond. Shravan, are you there? Please talk to me, man. See, guys. <clears throat> In India, so many consultancy company people are available. You just talk to any consultancy company people. They will provide all the documents. You just provide those documents to the company people. Hundred percent, everything will be clear. Background verification, consultancy people, they will clear. Okay, don't take any tension about that one. Only see here. Only very very important thing is how much knowledge you are having when it comes to this DevOps. That is the only important thing. Everything you can manage. Even in company people also, they will not they will not verify all these things. Whether you are a genuine candidate, whether you are a fake candidate, it doesn't matter. Only matter is how much knowledge you are having when it comes to this DevOps technology. That is the only matter. Did you understand, guys? Please respond, someone. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Even you see how to prepare your CV, how much experience we have to mention, what kind of interview questions they will ask you, what kind of projects we have to mention in your CV, what to explain. Hmm? Everything I will tell you according to your experience, according to your background. Everything I will tell you. I will talk to each one of you at the time of preparing our CV. Even for example, if you don't know any consultancy company people. How to get the fake certificates? Once after completing our course, you just contact me. Otherwise, you just contact directly. Side me, admin team people. 
we have some contacts we will provide you just talk to them they will provide all the documents okay they will manage everything any doubts from anyone hi uh, sir see what i can in our coming classes i will tell you see guys if you are having any doubts related to our today's class otherwise our demo class please ask me okay remaining details i will tell you in our coming classes don't take any tension please be good hello so you right see each and every problem i have solution i will tell you that solution hello yes please yes yeah, yeah good morning sir i am kadrappa yes yeah hi very good morning yeah you explain on kubernetes on terraform yes yes i will explain briefly explain on sir ha yes terraform i will explain in depth only kubernetes i told you right so that is completely new software so how much knowledge is required that much i will explain in the interview also they will they will ask you only that much okay thank you which amount paid sir this course fee uh, course fee details uh, please contact sai db admin team people they will tell you which month duration sir course course duration 2 months around 2 months 2 months yes placement on placement on you sir sai uh, if i find any job openings in my company or my own companies i will provide even reference also i will give you so here yeah. you can see these are the four numbers you can contact sai db sai db dot okay okay thank you sir yeah all right read out some anyone remaining people thank you sir I, i have one doubt yes yes please sir yes sir please. in how in how much time i will prepare for an interview after yeah, two yes yeah. once after completing our course you just take around 15 days 10 to 15 days of time in that 10 to 15 days of time you just revision what are the topics i have explained what are the recording videos i have shared with you you just revision everything after that immediately you can upload your cv into now kari monster linkedin even how to upload what to do what not to do everything i will tell you for revision purpose just take 15 to 12 days 12 to 15 days not more than that. after that immediately you can get the job okay okay guys have a nice day all of you we'll meet tomorrow see you tomorrow okay sir thank you okay thank you sir yeah have a nice day everyone thank you thank you thank you thanks thanks all of you